So first of all, congrats on the film. You guys were amazing. And it was very emotional for sure. So let's talk about from the moment I see you guys on the screen, you'll have this amazing chemistry. There's a spark. So how did you guys work on that? We, I, I know that the search for Eva was vast and um, because it was such an important role and so specific and we really needed like the perfect girl. Otherwise the movie would not work. Um, you wouldn't buy it. it it's, it's a really hard relationship to sell. And um, when we saw Julia, it was just a no-brainer. She was absolutely perfect for it and really brought this incredible depth but vulnerability. And she was smart, yet naive. I mean, it, she, just there's certain people that are kind of perfect templates to kind of fall into this trap. And she executed it with all the nuances that, that it needed and all the complicated emotions. And um, it was just an absolute joy working with her, aside from all the horrible things I had to do to her, which were <laughs> so difficult. But she just approached it with, with such fearlessness and such an understanding of the material. And, um, you know, I was still so careful about <laughs> wanting to make sure she was okay at every possible moment. But she was um, such a champ, you know, um, so it, it, it gives you permission to kind of let go and, and feel safe because you know your scene partner is right there with you. Right. Um, so, yeah, it was lovely. Julia, building on that, how did you relate to your character? I, um, well, I, the, the biggest thing that you could ask for as an actor is to have a scene partner who brings this vulnerability and connection to the scene and that makes it so much easier to connect yourself and to connect to the character and their situation. And um, I couldn't have asked for a, a better scene partner in this film, mm -hmm. especially with that vulnerability that's so important. Um, and just, I felt so taken care of and, and it was, it was, it couldn't have happened like that in any other environment. It was really um, compassionate and, and generous. You can definitely see it on screen, it's so magnetic. Mm -hmm. um, Evan, your character has struggled and she has a struggling, she's still struggling, she had a past and for love and acceptance. So how, what is it about this character that intrigued you the most? Because when I spoke to a director, they said that's what you really liked about it, right? Yeah, well I, I mean I was uh, initially uh, drawn to it uh, because the part was originally written for a man and they had gender swapped it and I'm always kind of fascinated by it. Um, how that changes up the dynamics of, of a story. And, um, and when I read it, I just, I'd never seen this story told in this way before. And I appreciated the fact that it was a really in-depth look at the psychology behind abuse and not just the act and not just, here's the bad guy, here's the good guy. It was kind of, how do we get to this point? How does an abuser become an abuser? How does one stay when they should leave? Um, because it's 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 incredibly complicated um, situation that can sometimes go back generations to generations. Um, so I I was certainly drawn to it for that reason and um, finding uh, the dichotomies in, the, in in this character of how you you sympathize with her in one way but it's also completely inexcusable what she's doing and I don't think it's made for you to let her off the hook in any way, but I think it helps you have an understanding, right. um, which I think uh, if we're ever gonna solve this problem is where we need to start with, with an understanding. Right. So. And lastly, three qualities about each other that makes her a worthy companion. In real life? Yeah, in real life. Oh. <laughs> the hair. The pressure's on. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I don't know. I mean, I mean the, the word worthy is like such an abusive word which is why it's such a brilliant title that it's hard to even... Um, but Julia's wonderful. She's smart, talented, fearless. Um, I, I see nothing but great things for her, and I, I absolutely loved working with her. So I'm going to be, like, rah-rahing in your corner. <laughs> what about you, Julia? Uh, ditto. <laughs> well said, well said. Thank you both so much for chatting with us. I'm wishing you all the best. Thank you. Thank you.